What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little installation video on something I just have never thought really about doing, but it's available, so we're gonna do it. It is the tail lights as turn signals. Say we have a severe storm rolling in here. No better time than now for a little installation project. <laughs> Need some access to the back of the vehicle. I'm also gonna unplug the battery at this time just because that's normally a good idea when you're doing anything electrical. Just don't wanna, I don't know, short anything out or whatever we might do. Ooh, ugly under here. Come on, what the frick? We're gonna need to take this trim piece off. So it's just these clips here, here, and then two on this side as well. And then we'll need to take these small clips out so we can sort of take this, this liner out to expose the backside of our tail lights. This is a good time to talk about what we're actually installing. It's just these two little modules on each side from Diode Dynamics, the same company that we got the uh, always on module for the fog lights so we know their stuff works pretty decent apparently they're a plug and play you can see the little plug-ins there um, okay, let's turn so again it takes our normal turn signal which is just that little round circle in the middle of the tail light which some people I guess don't like as a turn signal and then uses the tail lights as the turn signal which is cool but this is going to actually set us up for a future project, so you guys want to stick around for that. So just a flathead screwdriver to remove these. Don't lose them. Don't forget guys to get entered to win on that LED emblem, the RGB front emblem, gloss black with carbon fiber background. This was on my personal Q50 for a year or so, maybe just shy of a year. Works great. I ran it on blue, as you guys know, match my calipers. I love it, giving this thing away. If the date hasn't passed yet, make sure you get over to that video linked in the description below and get yourself entered to win. Follow the instructions, do it now, get entered. Super Clean Products is involved in well as well. A speed Culture t-shirt, decals, keychains, lots of stuff going on with this giveaway, so make sure you don't miss out on it. All right, so, so we've moved our trunk trim, or trunk liner out of the way, and we've exposed the wiring harness for our rear tail lights. So this is the factory harness that takes care of your tail lights and turn signals. Uh, you can just see it's a little gray loom here that connects to a connector, and the diode dynamics tail light as turn signal harness is simply plug and play. It's not, really can't get much easier than this. So basically, unplug your this is your tail light side. This is the power side. This uh, diode dynamics harness plugs in in only one way so you can't even get it wrong you can even do it one-handed plug in there on the power side then here right here on your tail light side boom that's it uh, you could take a little self tapper or something and you know um, this little resistor mounted somewhere or just I'm gonna just use a zip tie probably maybe on the underside of this just to keep things out of the way or just even to the factory wiring harness just so it doesn't rattle around um, but that's it so you can just basically put everything back together plug your battery back in and test it out but we'll, we'll show you what it looks like here and there it is you really can't get much simpler than that that actually looks pretty cool but let's take a look and see what it looks like beforehand and there it is a little terminator eye for some reason people don't like that as the blinker on the q50 I don't know I 
I've never really thought about it being a problem. But that's how it looks like from the factory. That's how it looks like. That's what it looks like from the factory. And again, back to the diode dynamics, tail light is turn signal. Boom. Not too bad. That looks pretty cool. The one thing I did notice is that this little resistor pack gets very hot. Almost too hot to, to hold in your hand. Um, but it's only when the blinker is going, and obviously you're not going to be having your flashers going on for hours, or your blinker going on for hours. Obviously there's power running through the harness with while well, your taillights are on too, but um, there's not as much resistance, I guess, for your taillights. So, uh, you know, it's not impacting your taillights really at all. So it doesn't get that warm. You can f you can feel it that it's warm to the touch, but when you leave your uh, signals on for a long period of time, it really starts to get hot, almost too hot to touch. So I just recommend not leaving your blinkers on. All finished. Simple. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. That was a pretty easy installation. Hopefully you found that video helpful. <laughs> I don't think you really need all that much help installing the diode dynamics taillight as turn signal module. It's very, very simple, as you can see. If you have any questions, though, of course, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll get to every single one of them as quickly as I possibly can. Stick around. More videos coming for the Q50, more coming for the 350Z. And guys, also, don't forget to get over to that um, LED emblem giveaway video that I posted probably just a day or two ago at this point. Uh, you have a couple of weeks, check the dates, to get entered to win that LED uh, RGB color changing emblem for the Infinity Q50. So thank you guys again very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. We will see you in the next video.